Well, internet, I missed a few days, and now I'm behind again. <laughs> but I'm going to skip days 19 and 20, that way I can post day 21 on day 21, so that counts as being caught up, I guess. There, I've declared it. I'm caught up. <laughs> I'll just skip those days like they didn't exist. I'll do them later, don't worry. There will be 30 vlogs for you to watch in 30 days. Uh, it's a lot of vlogging. I'm kind of... It's kind of hard to always find the time to do this every day, but day 21, uh, do you have other hobbies slash interests that you bring into your classroom teaching and explain? And hobbies and interests, I, I guess, I, have, I like Ultimate Frisbee. I have a Frisbee hanging on my wall, I guess, does that count? Um, I've thought about like doing a thing like playing catch or something, like some kind of review game or question and answer thing like only the person with the disc can speak but that's gonna turn into like something gets broken very very quickly in my classroom so you don't throw that around um i guess i could get one of those flimsy little like crappy ones but then that would hurt me emotionally to have to touch and or throw one of those since you know it must be a certified disc crap 175 gram awesome piece of abs plastic or it's not a frisbee or it is a frisbee, it's not a good disc. And yeah, so I don't do a whole lot with that other than talk smack to the kids who do play frisbee. So I guess that's, that, that counts as teaching, right? Talking smack to teenagers. Uh, I mean, I like going outside a lot, I like hiking around and stuff like that. So I'll, uh, I'll often when I go take pictures when I'm out and use those in class, especially, you know, since I teach biology, it's pretty easy. I've got a lot of good ecology, plant morphology, stuff like that that I can bring in pretty easily. But uh, beyond that, I guess I guess I'm kind of lame. I don't really bring a whole lot of outside crazy source material. I mean, I do try to like bring in a lot of pop culture references, but I wouldn't say they're exactly hobbies or interests. Um, it's it's kind of annoying actually. Like, uh, jokes I made, like, even not that long ago, like, four or five years ago, like, jokes I have worked into lectures that are pop culture references are already, like, the kids, and they, like, I'll drop them and the kids are like, uh, what? Or, oh, wasn't that a thing? I don't know, I was in, like, sixth grade. So, yeah, I actually, um, the annoying part is that I actually have to study and actively consume pop culture, which usually, uh, also hurts me emotionally to have to watch and read and think about those things, but just so I can stay relevant and like, you know, I'm, I am very into music, but most of the music that's popular I find very grating on my psyche, so I usually try to avoid it, except, you know, it's, it's important for me to know what's hip and what's, you know, new and fresh and what the kids are into, so that way I can find different ways of relating it to the content. Uh, for more on that, you can check out all my flip class video along those lines. I had my uh, homeroom class, uh, mostly because it's like 18 minutes of terrible, where we try to get them to like shut up and not annoy us for 18 minutes and have them watch like TV announcements that they could care less about usually, and Channel One, which they care even less about somehow, if you can imagine that. Uh, so I had them mostly as a way to try and connect with them and get them, win them over so they would not annoy me and mess with my room. I had them teach me how to do the wobble. For those of you that don't know, the wobble is a moderately popular dance. It's started to fade out of popularity. I know that because the last two weddings I went to did not play aforementioned wobble. Uh, so maybe this is already outdated, but it's, it was a dance that was popular a few years back and is still sort of hanging around lingering. So I had them teach me that and then used that to help me teach the uh, rip, the wobble effect in uh, protein synthesis. So there's a whole video, uh, I'll put an annotation in here sometime maybe, or a link in the description if you want to watch me debase myself by learning how to do a ridiculous dance uh, and videotape the, the whole uh, progress of that. Yeah, that's down there, so, you know, well, I don't know, what, what sorts of things do you bring into your workplace, I guess, that are... You know, your outside hobbies and interests that uh, make your day better or you're more effective at your job. Put your comments in the comment area. Gold star to the first person that makes a video response on any of these vlogs because so far there is zero and I would like there to be some because that could be cool. Anyway, 
that was a lot longer and ramblier than I thought it would be. This is what happens when I don't vlog for three days, I guess. I just get crazy and rambly. So thanks for watching and enjoying all of that. I think there was a point in there somewhere, but I don't even know where it is anymore.